Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Again, this is Kevin. Today we're going to talk about recording your MIDI track. In this is a part two of a two-part series. In the first part, we discuss about recording your analog audio uh, track. So I've discussed there the advantage and disadvantage of recording in it in, in that way. So for today, I'm going to do the same, but it will be recording a MIDI track. So I'll also discuss the um, advantage and disadvantage of recording your your audio as a MIDI track. Today I'm using, um, I'm not going to depend on the sound generated by my digital piano. So I'll be using this Addictive, key, addictive Keys plugin. And then, um, so the sound will be generated by this plugin and um, yeah, that's why in my audio interface, I don't have an one fourth uh, inch pin or cable connected to my input two of my audio interface. Okay, and then, so you have to make sure that it's in and then you arm your record button. But before that, you have got to go to your preferences and then make sure that you have selected the right audio interface since I have two inputs line one and two make sure that both are enabled and then you have to go to record warp launch tab and make sure that these these two buttons are disabled or else you will not be able to record two tracks simultaneously okay so you can only switch on one record arm button. And then uh, we can go straight away to record your um, your MIDI track. But uh, okay, metronome, I'm not going to use the one in Ableton because somehow the Ableton records the metronome sound, which we don't want. So I'm going to use an external device to create the metronome. switch off my um, metronome and then if you are going to re hear the sound of your MIDI track which is recorded here here but before you do that you have to switch this to in then you can hear this okay now let's listen to the recorded MIDI track that we created please take note don't step on the pedal otherwise you will lose your sustain sound okay l l later i'll show you what it was okay so now you can still hear the sustain now here again if i step on the pedal the sustain sound will be um, disabled. I will step on it once um, once I maybe I hear the first notes so don't do that okay don't step on the pedal
Okay, so that's it. So now, um, okay, let's talk about the advantage of recording it as a MIDI track. Okay, so if you record as a MIDI track, you're creating a sound that is generated by a software instrument. So for my case, it's Addictive Keys. And then um, it will end as a, it will be a MIDI file. Okay. Okay, the advantage, the advantage if you record it as a MIDI track. So if you double click this, you can zoom in to the individual notes. Yeah. So from here, you can see that Okay, everything here is at the right timing. This one's a bit off, so you can drag it a bit and make sure that it falls onto the line, or you can quantize. Hmm. Then if you play... So if you quantize, it will fall into the correct places or you can uh, adjust it yourself. So if this one, even though you have um, quantized it, it's still off, not in on the line. So it's a bit off in timing. You can adjust this here to this to fall into this line. So that's the advantage of um, you recording your audio as a MIDI track so you can adjust on each um, on each notes and the timing then you can adjust the pitch or the velocity you can do it here by increasing or decreasing this and then um, for example I don't have a piano oh sorry I don't have a drum on place in my place I don't have a I don't know how to play a guitar but because of my um, plugins, right? If you would see here, I can play other instruments. Like here, I have drums, I have a bass guitar, and then I have an acoustic. I still plan to buy an electric guitar plugin. Okay, and then you can easily separate individual parts. And the thing is, you don't need to have a quiet envir environment to record. So you will hear the sound so clear, no other noise generated. That's why um, I switch this off while demonstrating because you can hear some background noises, but actually it's coming from the microphone that I'm using. So if I switch this off, it's a clear sound already. So yes, uh, you can hear that one is a bit off, right? So I can still adjust that. And then, okay, what's the disadvantage of re recording audio as a MIDI track? One thing is it doesn't have the human touch, okay? Um, because now I've recorded it using... Uh, my playing so there's a bit of human touch there but sometimes even without the digital piano you can create the MIDI track by just uh, drawing individually for example um, I put here draw mode I just put here one then you have another note there so you can do that as well but with this there's no humanistic touch because everything will have the same uh, intensity, velocity, and as such. So th that is not good. And then um, the MIDI sound. Okay, the MIDI sound, if you are using um, a software instrument, it will depend on the quality of the program that you are using. So this one, Addictive Keys, somehow it's generating a very good piano sound. But if you're using something else, maybe the quality is not as good and then um, um, yeah I think if you are playing drums right 
then the parts of the drum sometimes it's quite difficult to um, um, play. So then sometimes you have that, what do you call this? You have the tendency of putting more like snares or whatever parts of the instrument, which is impossible to do for a person. So maybe it will sound as if there are four arms and four legs playing the drums. So if you're recording as a MIDI track, so you have to be careful on that. Make sure that, for example, if you're using the acoustic guitar plugin to play your acoustic and record your acoustic guitar MIDI track, make sure that you're always playing six notes, not more than that. Okay, not more. Uh, or better, you just play with four because it's unlikely you will use all six notes at the same time, you know. So, um, yeah, those, those are the tips that I can let you know. So, but uh, yes, um, I mean, the advantage of recording a MIDI track is that you can listen for yourself how your recording would sound like or if you're composing, you will hear how it would sound like. And then... You can call up a band and uh, ask them to record for you, something like that. Yeah, I think that's it for me. Yes, uh, I hope you like my video. If you do, and if you learn something, please click like. And then if you want to see my other videos, please click subscribe. Again, thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.